Hello. Um, this is not Doris, this is Sue Ellen Fry, and I'd like to thank everybody for supporting my comedic character. I'm live, and hopefully I won't, I made a wonderful, at least it was one of the best videos of uh, Doris calling Geico about her ins car insurance last night because she's still getting the bill, even though she got her license taken away, and it was, you know, um, I don't know, I was trying to figure out why it was sideways, and I was trying to correct it, and I darn erased the whole live video, so I'm not touching this. If it's sideways, watch it sideways. But I wanted to take a moment to thank a few people. To, first of all, thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing to, to capture, to get, to, you know, to market myself or get an audience, but I'm just having fun with it right now until I, maybe someone sits down and helps me through all this. But, um, I do want to thank all of you who are supporting me and um, taking a couple of minutes to, to watch some of Doris's antics. And um, <laughs> I came up with her character about eight months back in my friend Tanya's um, basement. We were just sitting there and goofing off, laughing and whatever. May have even been having a drink or two. But um, I thought of she, Doris, I don't know, I just, I don't, you know, I'm just silly all the time. I'm goofy naturally, and I've always been like this since I've been little. And I came up with Doris, but at first she was like this mentally challenged, you know, she had this mentally challenged kind of voice, like, and then I thought, eh, I didn't, I wasn't like sitting, and like a couple of weeks later, she was just born. She was just Doris, you know, from the Bronx. And, um, and I got the idea too, because when I lived in Fort, oops, when I lived in Fort Lauderdale, um, I'd be in the grocery stores and these little old ladies would be like, you know, from, they weren't from Fort Lauderdale, but they had moved down from New York. You could hear them all over the grocery store. It's a bag and hey, you know, they like Doris or whatever their names were, you know, and I like, you know, so I'd like practice their little accents and, and I lived in New Jersey too. And I've been to New York, so I've been up there. Um, and I, that's where I got the idea from Doris, just like little old cantankerous little lady. And I just remembered something tonight when I was um getting ready to go out. I remembered also that I, I don't know if my sisters, I don't know if my mom remembers, but I'm going to call her later and see if she remembers. I don't know where I got this darn wig. I wish I would have had the picture. I wish I saved a picture, took it. But my sisters were like still like young and they were like early teens. And I was like maybe 20. And I would put on that wig and put on my mom's like big old, like 70s big old glasses and just look like an old lady and start talking like an old lady. So she's been around for a while. I mean, the idea of me being, you know, dressing up as different characters. And um, so Doris has been around for eight months. And um, so I really want to thank, there's a lot of, there's, you know, well, not a lot, but <laughs> there's you all. But I really want to uh, give a special shout out to Brandy Brown, my best friend in the whole world, my soul sister, and Rebecca as well, Rebecca Bates, um, for supporting me. And Brandy, um, Rebecca hasn't been in the, um, what you call it, in the, um, I can't think of the shadows yet or like, you know, off to the side helping, but she will be. She'll have her day. But Brandy's been like, you know, my little sidekick and you haven't seen her yet, but she's been, you know, the voice of the interviewing and, and such and, um, you know, helping me through this with my makeup and my hair and, um, oh my God, the hair. I have to wash it right away. It's just like gunks of crap and hairspray in it, but, um. I tried the wig thing. I didn't like it. I thought the crazy hair with my own hair was better. So thanks to Brandy and thanks to her husband also for um, for being patient while we're while we're off doing these little you know like maybe the next room or the porch doing these little videos. Um, and um, also a special thanks to I already thanked you Rebecca, but Rebecca and her husband, uh, well, almost her husband, kind of her husband, Mark, for being supportive and believing in my character as well. And um, Let's see who else. Oh, and Tanya. Tanya, thank you for believing in Doris. Thank you for laughing, being patient. And Brandy, thank you for like a week or so ago saying, crapper, get off the pot, do this, quit talking about it. You've been doing this funny Doris stuff for how long? Like eight months? Just Let's just do it. So we did it. And it took a while, of course, because we sat in front of YouTube like, you know, what? how do we, you know, and after about 45 minutes, it's like, oh, screw it. Just, just, just make the video and then put it on later. And then it took me like, I think three days to figure some of it out, a day to figure Instagram. And, um, cause I hate social networks. I hate, but, um, 
just come and support me and I really oh oh wait a minute I have to thank one very sweet sweet lady the sweetest lady I know my mama because guess what my mama's name is Doris and I wasn't sure how she was gonna take it at first or or my both my parents at first Thank God I didn't make her mentally challenged, you know. She would have been like, Sue and Mary Fry. But um, uh, I presented, I, I sent them a YouTube video, the first one, you know, the cantankerous one where she was like, you know, where's my bat, you know, I'm, you know. And um, I got a better reaction. Like, my dad's really, you know, he's going to say it like this, like, you're, you know, you better get out of there. No, no way. You're, no, no. And he was like, yeah, it's kind of crazy, but, you know, okay. But my mom, my sweet mom, surprised me. My mom. I wish I could have been there to see her or, 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 or Skyped her at the time because she was just really laughing and got a kick out of it and loved the last name, you know. And my parents are really good, you know, churchgoers. So I was like, oh, well, her last name is Dammit, like D-A-M-I-T-T, -T, Doris Dammit. And just the whole story of Doris Dammit and her whole scenario and getting lost and living in yonder, Tennessee. My mom loves it. Of course, I'm thinking, you know, they could be lying to try to make me happy. But my parents haven't, you know, I don't, I don't know. My son said, maybe they're just saying that because they love you, mom. Like, but I know my parents well enough. If they didn't like it, they'd say, get it off there. Nope, you, sit, you stink, you suck. But my sweet mama named Doris said, go for it. I believe in you. And so, I had the support of my mama named Doris. And um, I got the idea, because my dad's, my dad's a pill, okay? And so am I, I get it from him. And then, like, my son, all three of us are pills. You know, we're kind of like a tank or you know. We can be like, ah. So, I got, the, I put all three of us together, and then the old Jewish ladies in Fort Lauderdale in the grocery stores. And um, that's what I did. And I came up with, Doris from the Bronx. And um, so I'm still, she's still working and making guys, and I'm, and I um, really am working on her. And I know this is a seven-minute video; it's going to be way too long. But I just had to—I don't know—I wasn't even going to be—I was going to be incognito. I wasn't. No one wasn't even going to know who she really was. But so many people around here already could—I mean, they already know it's me. They already—they could tell it's me, even with all the disguise and two and a half hours worth of hair and makeup. Well, the first video—they all—they just—they just know. They all—they know. There's no one else else around here that would do it and as far as I'm hey you know what but put in the comments I really want to know does anybody know any comedians female that do character acting like that dress up as different characters like famous ones that have made it big I mean there's other ones like hey Steven and crap like that but but no one like Doris and I have two more characters in the making I have um hmm I don't know if I should spill the beans well let's let's say um I'm not going to say anything right now. Let it be a mystery. We have two other characters. Probably in the next couple months. I'm going to get her worked on through Christmas. And have her out in public. Maybe if my friend Brandy or Rebecca could handle it without losing it. Like getting impatient at um, Walmart. You know, Christmas shopping for her little trinkets. Silvery trinkets. And, you know, I want to get her out in public. And um, a couple local places where I live in Podunk. Yonder. They already know about Doris, so like right before closing, like 10 or 15 minutes, they'll, you know, they know who I am, they know who the, the character is. I can go in and uh, act out without them freaking out <laughs> like this can take this old lady. So I have a lot of support locally, and that means a lot. As far as my son goes, I know he loves me. And he did like the one I did last night that I got the conversation with Keiko with all the, like, you know, they're not. The robotic thing like you know and, and I'm like getting frustrated because it's like I see a real person on the phone and the whole thing got I erased it like an idiot no more live videos I mean this is this is okay but no more when I make Doris ones in case I screw up they're gonna be done ahead of time and saved on my phone so then when I go put them on YouTube if something happens they're on my phone lesson learned for someone who is still learning the art of and this still might be sideways for all I know, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks to everyone. I love you all. And um, my goal, I don't know, I've done stand-up twice, non-paying. I just would love to just have someone, hell yeah, we'll pay you. We'll give you 
I don't care if it's 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. Go on stage for five minutes, 10 minutes, or do whatever. That would just be like, I tried doing it at JJ's, done work. They, they don't, I don't know. I tried picking songs. It takes them three minutes to find to do it. After two and a half years, I got a few laughs. It took about two and a half years. But, um, you know, there's got to be female comedians out there. And there just so happens to be one in the making here in Podunk, a.k.a. Yonder, Tennessee. Miss Doris, signing off for now. I got to love you for supporting this person. And, and thanks a lot. I'll talk to you all soon. Mwah. Bye.